So lawmakers are looking to say no more to changing our clocks twice a year for daylight savings time. They'd like to make it permanent. KCA United Washington correspondent Kelly Meyer checks in with the two lawmakers leading that charge. Still groggy after losing an hour of sleep because we switched to daylight saving time over the weekend? You're not the only one. I would say the vast majority of people would say just pick one and stick with it. Florida Senator Marco Rubio wants to ditch the switch and keep daylight saving time all year round. His state is already on board with the idea. I went to my barber one day and it was like the day after we had set the clocks back a couple of years ago and they, they started asking me like why do we have to set our clocks back every year. Florida Congressman Greg Stubbe, then a state legislator, went from the barber shop to the state house and filed a bill to lock the clock. In 2018, the Sunshine Act became Florida law, but it needs approval from Congress to take effect. So Stubbe and Rubio are pushing the Sunshine Protection Act here on Capitol Hill, and it's gaining momentum on both sides of the aisle. Democratic Senators Ron Wyden from Oregon, Dianne Feinstein from California, and Doug Jones from Alabama have all co-sponsored Rubio's bill. President Trump signaled he'd sign the bill, tweeting after last year's switch, quote, making daylight saving time permanent is okay with me. Obviously, it's not the biggest issue facing the country, but, but it's, a, it's an issue that more and more people want us to address, and I feel pretty optimistic that at some point here soon we will. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say it can take up to one week for us to adjust to the time change, causing sleep deprivation, health issues, and even car accidents. In Washington, I'm Kelly Meyer, KCAU 9 News.